Hey y'all, welcome to another sauna share. <laughs> I'm just in here sweating and scrolling. And I saw a thing on Instagram, it was a pastor who said, what do you think would have happened if, if Jesus was just on the cross and he was like, I've had enough. I'm going to get off this cross. You guys are never going to change. So you're just going to keep sinning. So why should I die for you? And obviously we know like he, he did that because he loves us so much and he suffered and he endured suffering and he kept going. And, um, it made me think about this conversation I had with my friend the other day. She loves to host. She likes to have girls dinners and, um, have couples nights. And she was venting to me about, um, having these people that she's invited and they just, they don't respond. They don't show up. They don't say yes or no. And I, I know how that is because I've hosted plenty of parties and gotten people that don't respond. And I was one of those people. Like I just wouldn't RSVP to things. Um, and then I, I felt like convicted in that. And so what's funny about this, this girl venting to me is there was two different times that I wasn't able to attend one of the things she invited me to. And I legit was busy. Like it was not, I wasn't blowing her off. And so what I said in the text message was, Hey, I can't come to this one, but I really want to attend the next thing. Just don't stop inviting me. Like just because I'm saying no doesn't mean I don't want to come. Please keep inviting me. And she told me like how much that meant to her because like I was just totally honest. And I told her that I really wanted to go. I just couldn't. But she was like, what's the right thing to do? Do I stop inviting these people? And I just looked at her and I was like, what would Jesus do? And truthfully, I don't know the answer to that question. Like if Jesus was living in present day America and he was trying to hang out with all his like girlfriends, which I guess in would be guy friends. And he had guys that were just like blowing him off. Do you think he would still invite them? I really don't know. That's like a legit question. But my encouragement is when things feel wasted, don't stop. Like keep, keep going because it does matter. Like if Jesus would have got off that cross because he knew there was going to be so many of us that were still living in sin and don't acknowledge him as Lord, if he would have gotten off, like what would have happened to the rest of us that have been saved by his grace? And as far as my friend and her hosting problem, I, I don't know. I still don't know the answer. I don't, I don't know what Jesus would do. I feel like he would probably keep inviting them. And everything that I do nowadays, not always, but present day Sarah tries to ask WWJD in regards to every decision I make. Like if Jesus was a 32 year old mom that was into wellness, what would he do? I don't know, but I'm going to keep trying to figure it out. And I just want to encourage you today to do the same thing. Ask yourself in all these situations, easy and, and tough ones too. What would Jesus do?